People across the country celebrating Labor Day. However, for some, it's just another day at the office. Thanks for joining us. I'm Casey Marler. Sarah Diamond has the night off. Labor Day first became a federal holiday in 1894. The U.S. Department of Labor describes the holiday as an annual celebration of the social and economic achievements of the American worker. News Channel 11's Karen Jenkins met with some in our region who did not have the day off, like police officers, firefighters, and healthcare professionals, to learn how they approach working the holiday. You know, there are certain professions out there that when you go into those, you kind of know weekends and holidays, those aren't guaranteed days off. And for those, Labor Day is just another day to labor. Labor Day may be a paid federal holiday celebrating the American worker, but realistically, there are many in the workforce who can't spend today relaxing with family and friends. Whether you're providing retail goods or gas or saving and protecting lives, Labor Day is just another Monday. For us, every day, no matter whether it's a weekend or a holiday, it's always business as usual. We come in prepared. Some days are slower than others. Some days are busier than others, but we come in prepared for whatever the day may bring. Johnson City's Olive Garden Restaurant wants to show appreciation to the essential service workers on this holiday. So Sarah Hart and Jacob O'Quinn delivered hot lunches to medical workers, police officers, and firefighters throughout the city. I just feel like they're there for us, so we want to be there for them, um, and we've been doing it for 23 years. Firefighters at Johnson City Station 3 are in the middle of a 24-hour shift, so this lunch is appreciated since they're probably missing out on that barbecue with family. It boosts morale here, and just having, having that connection with the, the other people in the city that, hey, we care about you. Now the good news is for those police departments, fire departments, hospital workers, they usually are on shift work and they rotate those shifts. So just because they work today on Labor Day doesn't mean they won't get a holiday off in the future, or at least let's hope so. Reporting in Johnson City, I'm Karen Jenkins, News Channel 11. Thank you, Karen. There is still some Labor Day fun to be had around our region today. You can find a list of Labor Day events on our website, wjhl.com.